If you are an RVer, you must have these five items. Hey friends, it is MJ from Endless RVing, the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you are new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below. And if you're back for another video, we thank you for watching. With the recent surge in RV sales, there are a ton of new RVers out there on the roads. So today, Izzy and I are gonna take you through the five most critical things that we think are needed for RV living. And make sure to stay to the end, guys. We're gonna give you a bonus must-have RV item. All right, number one are gonna be fresh water drinking hoses, right? So when you get your RV, most of the time if you're buying new they're going to give you like those white really crappy uh, hoses now they function they'll work but they don't really last too long they're kind of flimsy so you're going to want to get yourself at least one other hose and at least 25 feet okay i would recommend getting two hoses of 20 to 25 feet the reason for the following a lot of times, sometimes your water connection is kind of far from when your RV is, which we've experienced that several times. So what happens is that we actually have to join two hoses together to have enough length. The second thing is, what about if one of your hoses fail, springs a leak, cracks, now you're up creek with uh, no paddle, mm -hmm. if anybody's ever heard that. We actually carry four hoses on board. We have uh, two white ones from the two RVs that we got new. This is our second one. And then we have a 25 foot uh, blue hose. Again, it's a drinking specific hose. And then I believe we have a 20 foot heated hose, right? And that is specifically for the winter, but that can also be used as an emergency extension hose. Okay, so number one, absolutely multiple hoses. Number two is a water pressure regulator. All right, very, very important, guys. When you get to a campground and you connect to your water, you don't know what type of pressure is gonna be coming out of that. It could be 80 to 100 PSI, which can really damage your system, all right? So this is critical. There's a couple different kinds that you can get. This one is pretty simple. It's preset at 40 to 50 PSI. This runs about $5. We have it, we don't use this. We use, this one, it's a little bit, fancier okay you can adjust um it has a much wider range we do set it for 45 when we do get to campground and this runs about 25 dollars. so number two a water pressure regulator all right number three guys is uh we're moving into the electrical system now is step down adapters now what are step down adapters what it is it's a piece of electrical equipment that simply lets you say you're in fit you have 50 amps you can then move into 30 amps or if you have 30 amps you can move into 15 amps it's very useful always have it and we just had a recent experience where thank god we did have this with us we booked a campground which we thought was 50 and it was not it was 30. so thank god we had this adapter so we were able to still use not our uh both air conditioners but we were able to use one and still work um, almost everything that we normally do so the links we're going to put the links below this is really really a critical item to have so number three step down adapters okay so still on the electrical system number four i would highly suggest you get a surge protector okay we have a progressive ems 50 amp surge protector and what a surge protector does it's a piece of electrical equipment and the one i'll speak for the progressive what it does it monitors the electricity going from the uh, power source to inside your coach okay now it's gonna monitor for low voltage, high voltage, anything that can damage your electrical system inside your rig, it will, if it sees that, it will cut off all power instantly to the inside of your RV. Now, how many times have we used this, right? Well, we use it every time we go out. It saved us on two occasions, okay? The campground's electricity was shut down for several hours while they fixed the electricity. And um, the reason why it came about is that our electricity kept shutting off, shutting off, shutting off. I went to the front desk. They wound up checking it out and it was a big problem. This stuff's not cheap, guys. We'll put the links below. I know the one we have is about 400 bucks, but I'll tell you right now, if you damage your electrical system in your RV or even in your motorhome, it is going to cost you far more than that. So number four, you definitely want a surge protector. Also, make sure you get a lock for it. Yes, get a lock for it. Number five, and I promise you, you will use this. You gotta pack tools, okay? Some of the things we pack that we always have on board, right? We just have a generic like set of tools, nothing crazy. 
I carry a set of uh, sockets, okay? I have a toolbox. In there, I have uh, wooden dowels. I have wood glue. I have fuses. You, you make the toolbox however you want. I would also highly suggest packing on some kind of emergency sealant, die core, a turnabond tape, uh, anything like that, just in case you somehow get a tear in your roof or anything like that. Number five, really important tools. And our bonus item for you is not, I mean, technically it's not a must have, but we really, really recommend having one is a TPMS, a tire pressure monitoring system. Again, you can go without it, but when you're riding down the road and your tire starts losing pressure and you have no way of knowing and you have a blowout, which can lead to d disaster really, that's not good. So we will link a video right above on a video that we did on a TPMS, actually two. Uh, we have a discount code for the Tire Minder i10, $20 off, and we will link that in the description. But again, bonus item guys, really should have one, is a good TPMS. So one more quick tip guys, especially for certain items, make sure you always leave with the items that you came with. We did that in Disney. We left our water pressure regulator at Fort Wilderness. So somebody is probably enjoying that right now. We had to order a new one. So just make sure you take everything with you when you go. Yeah, so these are our five uh, critical items that we think every RVer should absolutely have. Uh, in the comments below, let us know what items you think mm -hmm. that every RVer should have. Are they the same as us? Are you other ones that you think are more important. Also, feel free to share this video with any new RVers you know. There's obviously a surge of a lot of new RVers out there. So as a community, we should come together and help them out, right? Yep. And to the left of me, this way, we're gonna put our RV DIYs as well as our RV essential upgrade playlist. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you on, on the, the road. road.